We've got some retro gaming for you guys now on Max TV. Now, if you remember the 80s, you remember Dealey Boppers, you remember Ripped Jeans, and you remember Bros, then you may also remember some of the, uh, the classic old 8-bit machines that you uh, may have been playing with uh, when you were a little kid. Uh, we've got a selection to show you now. Basically, what uh, these machines do is they are the old machines with loads of little games in, all in one unit. How wicked is that? You don't have to load tapes, you don't have to put discs in. They're all in one little unit and they plug straight into your telly. It's that simple. Uh, the first one we've got for you today is uh, the Commodore 64 stick. Now, this is brand new. Uh, it's the latest one to come on the market. And, uh, oh, the Commodore 64. It was an old 8-bit computer and it had some classic games and a classic joystick as well. Now, this is a product itself. Uh, if, you're gonna, if you're interested in ordering this, it's Max 464. And as you can see, isn't it a beauty? It's, a, it's black and red. It's got a... Two red buttons. It's got left and right fire buttons and a really sturdy joystick as well, up, down, left and right. Really, really sturdy. And the simple thing is it just plugs straight into the back of your telly or the front, depending on what your TV's like. Just the composite and the audio plugs in and away you go. It's that simple. Now, there are 30 games in this joystick. Count them. 30. And they've all got a great nostalgia value. Uh, let me just run down here. On the back of the box, you have, uh, there you go, 30. There's a proof. And here's the list of all the games and, and some of the screenshots as well. As you can see, they were uh, pretty basic. Mission Impossible, or sorry, Impossible Mission. Now, that was a tricky game. It was like a platform game. You could jump about, um, avoid the robots, try not to get electric shocks, that sort of stuff. The sequel's on there too. Uh, you've also got Jumpman Genia and uh, Winter Games. Oh, that was a classic. You could ski, you could uh, do, do ski jumping as well, like Eddie the Eagle Edwards, that sort of stuff. And um, Speedball as well. That was a sort of futuristic, a um, bit, bit of a cross between ice hockey and football, that one, a, a really futuristic game. There's 30 games to try out on here. There's absolutely loads. And some of them are single player, some of them are multiplayer as well. Let me just show you. We've got it up here on the TV screen. This is great. When you, when you actually switch this on, I'll just reset it. You get, look at that, you get the Commodore 64 loading screen. It comes up with a loading screen. Now, that adds nostalgia value as well. Once that screen's come up, you then get the list of games. It's really simple. All you do, just navigate through. Let's try a bit of a, I don't know, what should we try out? Let me show you Impossible Mission, show you how impossible this game was. Right? It was really tricky. Now, what you had to do in this game, come down to the lift, and then run along. And basically, you just had to solve missions. There's various different levels you had to go up, go up and down the lifts, and I got zapped. There you go. Really is an impossible mission. There's 29 other games to try, so if you do find Impossible Mission a bit too impossible, then uh, you can try out some of the other 29 games. Uh, we've actually got a little feature about this, so have a look at that now, and I'll be back with the next stick in a second. The Commodore 64 was one of the greatest games machines of the 80s. Now you can relive those halcyon days with the Commodore 64 30 game stick. Based on the popular 8 direction cheetah joystick, the Commodore 64 30 game stick plugs directly into your TV or video recorder. You don't need a computer to play the 30 games built into the unit. Some of the greatest games ever to grace the Commodore 64 are included. And make no mistake, these are not Commodore 64-like games. These are the real thing, the original Commodore 64 games in a stick. In fact, the arcade stick uses the same operating system as the C64 and plays exactly the same as they did back in the day. Games included are bull riding, championship wrestling, Cyberdyne Warrior, Cybernoid 1 and 2, Eliminator, Exelon, Fire Lord, Flying Disc, Gateway to Apshai, Impossible Mission 1 and 2, Jumpman Junior Paradroid Pit Stop 1 and 2 Rana Rama Silicon Warrior Speedball Summer Games Super Cycle Sumo Surfing Sword of Fargo 
Tower Topper. Iridium. Winter Games. World Karate Champion A and B. And Zynaps. If you like what you saw there and you want to get hold of the Commodore 64 joystick, the product code is MAX464 and it's £29.95 plus postage and packing. So call the number or get on the website www.max.tv and order one today. Right, the next stick we've got isn't so much um, of a computer stick, it's more of the old arcade classics in a stick. Uh, this is the Namco arcade joystick and the main game on here is Pac-Man. Now we all remember Pac-Man, the little yellow fella running about the maze, being chased by four ghosts. What are their names? Inky, Blinky, Pokey and Clyde. Don't know where I got that from, but that, that, they were the four ghosts and they used to run around and, and catch Pac-Man. On this joystick, you can play that and there are also four other games as well. Let me just show you the joystick. This is great. It's designed just like an arcade cabinet. So you've got a big old school joystick. Look at that, really thin handle. Big red end on it there and also the uh, the fire button there and on the side you've even got a little bit of artwork the sort of thing you'd get on the side of an arcade um there you go weird alien fly things being attacked being zapped pretty retro i think you believe and the colors are great that sort of purple yellow and red looks really cool uh, simple on and off switch off and on and the reset button as well if you want to reset the machine uh, the other games on here if we just turn the box around i can show you that You've got a Galaxian, you've got a Bosconian. I, I must admit, I've never played Bosconian. Sounds like a weird dance you do in Russia. Uh, they've got Rally X and they've also got Dig Dug. Now, I do remember Dig Dug, I absolutely loved it. Um, let's just have a quick go on here and show you what it's all about. Uh, so, here's Pac Man, as you can see. It's uh, running around the maze. I do remember also, you can collect fruit in this as well for bonus points. And of course, collecting pack pellets turns all the ghosts to blue. And then you can gobble them up. Just like that. So that's Pac Man. And uh, yeah, from the menu, you can also select the other four games as well. Once again, this is £29.95 as well, plus postage and packing. If you're interested and you think you need a little bit more persuasion, have a look at this voiceover, have a look at this feature, and uh, see if you like what you see. Nostalgia is hot news these days. This five game retro pack sees classic maze muncher Pac Man joined by Bosconian. Rally X, Big Doug, and Galaxian. And make no mistake, these are not Namco light games. This is the real thing the original arcade games in a stick. The Namco five game joystick featuring Pac Man is a sturdy handheld joystick with a single fire button. It plugs straight into your television or video recorder, too. You don't need a separate games console. Pac Man, is this the unlikeliest video game hero ever? Eat the dots and dodge the ghosts, and watch out for the power pills. Classic shoot 'em up Galaxium was first released in 1979. It was the first game to feature 100% color RGB graphics. Dig Dug has you digging tunnels underground. Cutting strategies and forward planning are required. Bosconian is Namco's eight-way scrolling blaster. An underrated classic no self-respecting retro gamer should be without. Driving game Rally X has more in common with Pac-Man than pole position. Drive through a huge maze, grabbing the yellow flags. You're guaranteed hours of addictive gameplay with this classic selection. Order yours today. If you like the look of the Pac-Man arcade stick, the product code is MAX411, and again, it's £29.95 plus postage and packing. Now, here's one for the ladies. That's right. This is the Ms. Pac-Man joystick, or Miss Pac-Man, depending on how you want to say it. And again, it's from Namco, and it features loads more games. Slightly different style. It's still got the old sort of arcade stick look to it. It's also got a twist control for some of the games on there as well. So not only do you go up, down, left and right, you get a bit of twisty action as well, which is cool. And it's also got two fire buttons as well, just because some of the games are different. So you've got Miss Pac-Man on there. Uh, the only difference being she wears a red bow in her hair. Don't know why. Very strange. Um, there's also four other titles on here as well. So you do get a lot of games for your money. And we've got Pole Position on here. That's a racing game. 
very basic sort of um, F1 racing game. Uh, a game called Xevious, that's a shoot 'em up game. Mappy, which was some sort of strange platform game. And Gallagher as well. Now, it's nothing to do with two angry Mancunian brothers running about. It's actually a shoot 'em up, just for anyone that's uh, born in the 90s and doesn't remember the 80s. Uh, let me just show you um, a bit of Gallagher. And this is what it looks like. So there we go. A bit like Space Invaders. But uh, these aliens actually come swooping down towards you, which makes it a lot more difficult. Again, great fun. This game is so addictive, it will keep you going for that high score. And uh, yeah, you can change your mates, you can play it two-player as well, take it in turns, so you can get the best score. Again, we've got a feature coming up now that tells you more about this product and the games in depth. The pack is back. Once again, five classic Namco games are built into an arcade-style joystick for convenient and amazing retro gameplay. The device includes Gallagher, Pole Position, Xevious, Mappy, and of course, Miss Pac-Man. And make no mistake, these are not namco light games. This is the real thing, the original arcade games in a stick. The Namco 5 game joystick featuring Ms. Pac-Man has twin fire buttons and twist control steering for pole position. It feels comfortable in your hands and has that arcade style chunkiness you'd associate with 80s coin-ops. As it connects straight into your television or video recorder, you don't need a separate games console. All the games are stored in your joystick. Ms. Pac-Man features four different mazes that change every two to four screens. Also, unlike the original Pac-Man, bonus fruits walk around. Another classic maze muncher. Namco's 1981 classic Gallagher is a test of tactics. Can you destroy the enemy squadron before they get into formation and attack? Xevious is a vertically scrolling blaster. Your fighter is armed with guns and bombs for double the firepower. Cute and cuddly, platformer Mappy has you controlling a police mouth in a house full of feline thieves. You move from floor to floor by jumping on trampolines. The Namco 5 game joystick featuring Ms. Pac-Man is ideal for young and old alike. Whether reliving childhood memories or exploring gaming's history for the first time, it's fun for all the family. Looks good, doesn't it? Again, you can pick up Miss Pac-Man for £29.95 plus postage and packing, and the product code is MAX482. Staying in the arcades, we've got another stick for you. Now, this is the most classic arcade game of all time, Space Invaders. Now, we all like a bit of Space Invaders, the little turret firing up at the slowly advancing invaders on the way down. This has that game, and again, it's got four other games with it as well. These are all games made by a company called Tato. Um, here's the stick itself. It's great, these. They're all, they're all different games, but they've all got great different shapes about them, which is really cool, and it's certainly got that retro novelty. And if we just move it about, can you hear that? It's a micro switch. That's really retro as well, that sort of clicking noise when you move the joystick. Now on here, we do have five games, and we've got uh, just show you Space Invaders. If you've never seen it before, where have you been? You've probably been on a desert island somewhere sunning yourself. Don't blame you. You may have a tan, but you've never played Space Invaders before, have you? No? Check it out. Here we go. And yeah, this is great. It's got all the great sound effects you associate with it. This flying saucer will go over the top soon. What you've got to do is just stop all these invaders, fire at them, avoid their bullets, and just keep going until you wipe them out. So that's Space Invaders. The four other games, I did mention the four others. Got some more classics here. Uh, Phoenix, that's another space shooter. You've got Lunar Rescue on here. Bit of a theme going on. Can you guess what it is? I think it's space. You've got Colony 7, that's another space-based game as well. Slightly different to the other games. In Quix, that's a bit more of a puzzle game. Again, I've just touched on the games briefly. Here's some more info about exactly what you get within this product. It's the most important game in arcade history. Space Invaders thrilled a generation, and now it's back to thrill once more. The Taito Space Invaders Retro Arcade Stick features five classic Taito games. It plugs straight into your television or video recorder. No console is required as all the games are stored in your arcade-style joystick unit. And make no mistake, these are not retro-style games. This is the real thing. The original arcade games in a stick. 
Designed and programmed by Toshihiro Nishikado in 1978, Space Invaders was so popular in Japan, it caused a coin shortage. But now you can play without feeding the machine 10 pences. Lunar Rescue is a real unsung classic. It takes a steady hand and nerves of steel to rescue the stranded spacemen. Defend the colony against alien attack in Colony 7. It's fast and frantic, so keep your eye on the foes. Phoenix is the ultimate shooter, featuring several stages and a huge boss enemy. It's as thrilling today as it was in the 80s. Another all-time classic, Quix is simple yet highly addictive. Everything a good game should be. So if you fancy a bit of Space Invaders action, call the number, go to the website and quote Max483. Now next up we have the Atari arcade stick. Now the Atari, that was a classic console from back in the day. And this is what the joystick looked like. Look at that. It really is so retro, you won't believe. Um, it's even got here, it says top, to tell you where the top of the joystick is. Um, really basic, it's got a sort of rubber feel around it. That's a moving about, just like the original Atari joystick and one big red fire button. That's all you get with this. It's very basic, but very cool. Now with this, you've got some real classic Atari games. You've got Breakout on here. That's the one where you had the bat hitting the bricks with the ball, and you had to just keep hitting the bricks and not let the ball fall down the bottom of the screen. You've got Missile Command, where you had to blow up incoming attacks using your base. Asteroids, which you've got on screen now, which is uh, the spaceship avoiding the asteroids, blowing them up, making them smaller, and sort of hyperspacing about. You've got Gravitar, which is a bit like Asteroids, but harder, a lot harder. And Centipede, that was one of my favorites. The centipede, it's moving its way down the screen, and you've got to shoot at it and avoid some of the other bugs and nasties that are on it. Again, we've got some of the games in detail now for you to have a look at. It was the ultimate home gaming device of the early 80s. Atari's 2600 console was the last word in cool, with plug-in game cartridges, sturdy joysticks, and non-stop action. Now it's back. Atari Plug and Play TV Games features 10 of the finest titles from the Atari console. And make no mistake, these are not Atari-like games. This is the real thing, the original Atari games in a stick. If you've been around long enough to remember the original, it'll certainly bring back a few memories. For the youngsters, it's a thrilling look at the dawn of home gaming including the all-time classic Asteroids, with an incredible 66 game modes to choose from. For classic shoot 'em up action, check out the amazing Gravitar. Real Sports Volleyball is total fun, a sports sim from the dawn of gaming. Pong, the game that brought video gaming to the masses and an all-time design classic. Breakout's 12 game modes will keep you playing for hours. Amazing Blaster Yars Revenge, one of the most popular Atari cartridges of all time. Circus Atari gets you popping balloons to score points. Missile Command, the ultimate Atari game. It wowed in the arcades and it's equally amazing on your TV. For a change of pace, try the Cerebral Challenge of Adventure. It's one of the original Thinking Gamers games. And of course, Centipede, another classic blaster. All ten of these classic games are built into Atari plug-and-play TV games. Get yours today. If you like the look of the Atari stick, the code's MAX424, and again, £29.95, plus PlayStation packing, call the number or order on the website, www.maxtv. Now, we do have one more for you, and I say this till last, because the Mega Drive, it was a 16-bit console by Sega, and it was my favorite console back in the day. And uh, this is a, another great system. It's got six games on it, and get this. Look at this little unit here. Isn't that brilliant? That is like a one-quarter of the size Mega Drive. That's what it used to look like. Um, you used to have a big cartridge that's sl slotted into the top. Obviously, with this, all the games are, are packed neatly inside, so there's no need to worry with that. And it's just got a simple power switch. You just turn that on, and um, connected to it is one of these. That is an exact replica, again, of a Mega Drive uh, joypad. It's uh, not obviously the right colour. Mega Drive joypads were black, but uh, the red one means at least you can find it in a cluttered bedroom. Um, 
It's got A, B, and C buttons. There are actually three buttons for the Mega Drive. Um, and the Start button, you've got the D-pad there that moves around to select the games and also control your characters. And the Menu button, so at any time you can hit that and go into another game. Now, this has got six games on, as I mentioned. And if we just take a look at the box here, we can just see what's on here. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Now, Sonic, very popular. He was the Sega's mascot so then. Um, massive mascot, sold many Master Systems and Mega Drives with off the back of Sonic. Uh, little blue hedgehog, ran about really quick, collected rings. Fantastic 2D classic. You can still play games nowadays in 3D with him, but this is where it all started. Um, you've got Echo the Dolphin. Now, this is quite a relaxing game, I thought. You swam about as a dolphin, uh, talking to other dolphins. How does a dolphin talk? No idea. But you could do that. Uh, you could swim about. You could uh, nudge into sharks and stuff. You could uh, swim about, do loads of acrobatics. That was really cool. The ooze. Now, this was a strange one. You were like a big green blob that would move about and uh, change color depending on what pickups you got. And you moved around the le levels. It was sort of like a, a take on an old B movie. Very strange, but very fun. Um, columns. That was a really addictive puzzle game where you got uh, different columns, different coloured gems. They'd come down, you'd make a line, and they'd disappear. Sort of like Tetris, but, you know, in full colour. And finally, a classic platform game, Alex Kid. Um, this time, you don't play a blue hedgehog. You play a little guy called Alex, obviously. Running about, doing things a crazy platform gaming hero does. Six games, really cool. Um, you've seen the unit, looks really cool. Take a look at the games. It's built like a Mega Drive joypad. It plugs into your TV or video recorder with no additional console required, and it features six incredible Sega games. And make no mistake, these are not Mega Drive light games. This is the real thing. The original Mega Drive games in a joypad. Arcade Legends Sega Mega Drive Volume 2 gives you the classic Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and Echo the Dolphin. And also Alex Kidd in Enchanted Castle, Game Ground, Views and Columns. Arcade Legends Sega Mega Drive Volume 2 is incredibly easy to use. Just plug it into the phono socket on your TV or video recorder and you're away. In Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Dr. Robotnik is out for revenge. A perplexing platformer with the emphasis on speed, this second Sonic game is considered by many to be the best of the Sonic series. Anyone who says video games are not an art form should be forced to play Echo the Dolphin. They'd soon eat their words. The game's breathtaking visuals are motion captured from real dolphins. Master System star Alex Kidd returns to a Sega console with Alex Kidd in Enchanted Castle, a tale of rescue and revenge. Use your special powers to wallop anything and everything that gets in your way. Game Ground is an amazing arcade port. It's a great mix of action and strategy. You rescue hostages who then join your team, using their own unique attributes to help on your quest. The Ooze is an often overlooked classic from the end of the Mega Drive's lifespan. An original and absorbing action adventure, The Ooze puts many B-movies to shame. Finally, there's Columns. Rainbow-coloured jewels fall from the sky in columns of three. Guide them as they fall, linking groups of three or more gems for points. Great gameplay never goes out of fashion. These six games are timeless classics that can hold their own with anything on today's consoles. So that's the final stick, the Mega Drive 2 arcade stick, and the product code for that is MAX431. Now, there's quite a selection there. Uh, we've got six really cool sticks for you. Uh, they're all £29.95 each, plus postage and packing. And uh, you can get hold of them by calling 08450 702 571 or going onto the website www.max.tv. Let me just recap why you'd want one of these. They're really small. They're compact. You can put them in your bag. You can take them around your mate's house. They all work on batteries. A couple of them, you can also plug them into the mains, which is quite cool. So if you don't have batteries lying about, you can just plug them in. Um, yeah, and they're really cool fun. They've got loads of games. They're all really retro. And if you remember games back in the day, it's just really good to remember you know, the sort of things you were doing when you're playing sort of 8 and 16-bit games. Let me run through what, we, what we've just covered and their product codes as well, just to, in case you want to order one that I talked about earlier. Okay, so if you want the Commodore 64 arcade stick, 
uh, you don't have to use product code MAX464. If you want the Pac-Man arcade stick, you need product code MAX411. If you want the, uh, the ladies' version, Miss Pac-Man, that arcade stick, it's MAX482. If you want the Space Invaders arcade stick, it's MAX483. If you want the Atari arcade stick, it's MAX424. And finally, one we just looked at, the Mega Drive 2 arcade stick is MAX431. I think you'd agree, they're all great fun, they're good value for money, and they're a right giggle, they really are. So order today, get yourself one of these, or even get a few of them, and relive some games from the past. <laughs>